So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be chatting about the 88 rated team of the season, Ruben Neves. First of all, this guy is born in 1997 and that just makes me feel incredibly old. In a few months, this guy is going to be playing in the Premier League while I'll probably still be in my room making FIFA videos. Anyway, let's not get into that. Guys, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be greatly appreciated. Drop a comment, let me know if you've used this guy and also tell me which other Team of the Season cards you want me to try out. Right then, Team of the Season Ruben Neves. Let's take a look at your in-game stats and one of the first things you'll notice on this attributes page is that nearly every stat is green. Every stat but one is green and that just shows how well rounded this card is. Standout attributes on this page include the 96 shot power, 91 long shots, 93 shot passing and the 91 long passing. The stamina of 83 isn't bad but as you can imagine 83 stamina isn't great for an 88 rated team this season card. So, how did this guy perform in games? Well, instant verdict, he was pretty damn good. I was playing in the daily knockout tournament to try and obtain that team of the season, Jose Calajon, when using this Neves. So as you can imagine, I did match up against some very good teams and also some players who were really, really trying hard. Like seriously, some of the guys were proper sweating it. Neves dealt with some top class players and he defended brilliantly in every game to be honest. Originally he does come out of packs as a CDM but as you saw at the start I was actually using him as a centre mid. I think he can play either centre mid or CDM to a pretty high standard. And while we're on the topic let's chat about how uh, this guy's defensive pull is. First of all his interceptions are pretty damn good. He times them very well and his stand tackling was brilliant. Despite just having 78 strength, he battled really well for the ball. He did sit back quite a bit too and he's got medium medium wear crits so I didn't really expect him to sit deep but for the most part he did. But I'm not complaining about that because for me his defensive positioning was fantastic. Another thing I really liked about this card was his distribution. He's a great passer of the ball, especially when passing from deep. He was able to control and dictate play from his central role. I do have to add though, to get the best out of this card, try to always pass with his stronger right foot because that left foot, which is three stars by the way, can let you down. When it comes to shooting, I was pretty impressed with the accuracy of this guy from distance. His shots are really powerful too and he does have a pretty good finesse on him. Once again, when it comes to shooting, try and keep it on his right foot. Dribbling wise, he's all right, nothing special though. I wouldn't advise going on runs with this guy because he's, although his ball control is good, his agility and in-game dribbling are pretty average, especially considering his overall rating. Physically, he isn't the strongest of midfielders, so he's not going to dominate the middle of the pitch, but to his credit, in-game, he did feel stronger than the in-game stat actually suggests. When it comes to heading, this guy is 5'11 and has decent jumping of 83, so he does win a fair share of aerial battles, but his heading accuracy is pretty poor. Anyway, let's get into the summary. This is a very good card. It's a solid centre mid who can turn defence into attack. Obviously, he's not as dominant as other midfield options, but what this guy does, he does very well. So, the question of the video is, Team of the Season Neves worth the coins? And the answer is simple. Yeah, he is. He really is a very good centre mid card, and I'll probably will use him again at some point. Anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on Team of the Season Ruben Neves. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below your thoughts on this card and also let me know which other team and season cards I should pick up. Thanks for watching and as always I will catch you in the next one.